Shot. 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 Just want one more. I just want one more shard, and then I can just leave it for the rest of this session. It's pointless. It's it's pointless collect collecting. It is. It's like you're hunting for things, that, and you don't know exactly where they are. Like even after you've done the thingy, me what's it with the thingy? Technical terms, I know. Oh no, I wanted to go up, didn't I? But even once you've... Grant's crossing, okay. Finding things. Right. Ah, 12. There we go. Brilliant. But, I mean, even once you've got the... What was it? Oculorum or something? You still need to do all the... Kind of running around and actually finding the thing. Mm, nope. Deluxe path. So, it's just... I have no idea where I am at the moment. I'm lost. I'm guessing I'll need this. Who designs a place that takes this many keys to get inside? Hmm. Because there's no point in giving 60 odd. I mean, out of the areas that we know have shards, there's 60 odd. I mean, it seems a bit bonkers to have that. If you don't, if you only need what 24. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I say that. I mean, I hope. I hope that this. Once I've done this, I can just go right. Oh, I could have gone around that way. I'm hoping. Kind of beyond hope, really. But I, I'm. I'm really hoping that I can just. Kind of go in, hand these twelve in, and the game will go. All oh, right. Yeah, you've done your twelve. You've done the six to get into the temple. You've done the six to get into the, f to the first room. You're in the 12 to get into the second room. Here is, I don't know, the key into the super secret room. I'm guessing I need to go through each room. Each I, I assume that there'll be... Th so there's going to be a second room. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a third room. Um, and you have to go through all of the rooms in each of the three. That would be my suspicion. Um... Now, I might be wrong. I don't want to say, oh, I'm definitely right on this, but... I'm fairly sure I'm going to have to go... I'm going to have to go through each set of rooms, like, th th for the three. I mean, the question is... Whether... The question is whether... At the end of one set of rooms, well, how many? Really, in my view. I mean, I think in theory, I don't see anything up there. In theory, I suppose this might give me everything I need to get into that that room. Fire demon. Rage demon, sorry. No, you're meant to have a rage demon in this section. Oh, oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness. How many do I Yeah, I need... It's 18 now. Is there a way to cheat shards in? Like, legitimately, this is like... This is so pointless. Especially as... Are you all right? Uh, that was weird. I feel a bit strange. The magic was drawn to you. Possibly because of your mark. 
The effects were purely benign. If it wasn't a trap, what was it? It may be a reward for those who prove themselves worthy. Okay, so I actually want to take this thing then. To get blingle, blingle, blingle. I think it's time you stopped playing the wounded party with me, Varric. Ignoring the times you actually wounded me. I did no such thing. I questioned you and then brought you to Haven so you could tell your story to the Divine. What then? Thanks, Varric. We believe you. See you around. And ignoring the fact you did lie to me. Do not pretend to be an innocent bystander. I could have done far worse with full justification. Oh, yes, thank you for not torturing me. <laughs> so much happier now. It's Kirkwall, isn't it? Simple. Not particularly useful. <sighs> this is. I mean, I kind of want to do this now to get all of the oops, to kind of get all of res the resistances, but it's like, oh my goodness. Like, I get, in a way, this is comparable to, right. I think part of my problem with this is it's somewhat comparable. So I'm getting some some slight buffs in this case, the extra fire, the extra, the resistances. Um, so in a way, it's kind of similar to, for example, uh, the Templar hunt uh, in Assassin's Creed Four that I, I'm that I kind of that I'm kind of playing through. Um, Assassin's Creed. Two, I think it is, with the uh, Assassin's Tombs and getting Altair's armor. Again, it's a better armor. It's an improvement. But with them, you had to get six things. And each thing had its own wee little story. Like the Templar, the Templar Hunt. Each Templar key you get from a little stor story mission. So you do like three or four missions, get the one thing, and, and there you go. Here, I need to get... 18 more shards to go with the 12 I needed here, that's 30. The 6 I needed here, so that was it, 36. I'm guessing 36 is probably the cutoff. Oh my goodness, I hope so. So that means if I need to go through all three, which, quite frankly, I would expect would be the case. It's 36, it's 108. I need to scour the game. All the the parts of the game. Which is not a small which is not sm a small a small area. For a hundred and eight different uh for hundred and eight different shards. That is assuming that I'm getting that I only need to, that I need to do all three. Which I would suspect is the case. It might not be. It, admittedly, it might not be. But still, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I kind of want to have a little thing, a, a little operation where you send someone off, and they send a group of scouts or a group of soldiers to find the shards. That'd be useful. I mean, this is another thing. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to go. But this is the. I think that I'm gonna have to get through, get all the shards for this. It's just, yeah, yeah. So I can't even do this now. So I'll make I'll make a note of this. Uh, need shards. I put it in the wrong place. There we go. Right, because this is the Forbidden Oasis. Yes. Right, so. I think we'll visit. Um, I think we'll. Let's have a look here. Are there any Oculorum that I can quickly sneak a look at? Right, so we'll, we'll run it. Uh, no, no. I think we will just head back to Skyhold. Send off Liliana and Josephine. 
because uh, they finished their stuff. And then... Maybe, maybe, I think, and then I think I'll probably cut the session there, and I might actually cheat and try and see if there's an easy way to get shot. Oh, hello. 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 Wait. Who on earth is this Meriden? Oh my goodness, I have a ghost quest. Oh my goodness, it's 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 really weird. That's like I went to Valoyo and she popped up. And then then I tried to then I almost found where she was and poof disappeared. I'm really confused. Then maybe that's a bug. Let's chat with Solus. Maybe his slight approval in priests have given allowed him to quest me. No. Okay. We'll talk later. Goodbye. We're at the center of everything. Uh, right, okay. Unlock the final door, but I think that's the final door for that area. <sighs> Part of me wants to actually look up, like, if... Because, here's the thing. If I only need one door, one of those areas to kind of get, kind of finish the temple, then I'd be like, ooh, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, we have a list of parties to attend across Reldon, and lay on you guests, we'll tell you the details. Extremists. I can't remember what I did with that, but alright. Um, but, I was kind of hoping there'd be a, a little thing. Uh, they, that went splendidly. Naturally, these worthies of all I wanted nothing more than to be given everything while providing nothing in return, but I set the record straight. If they want our assistance in supporting their efforts to restore the war-torn bales, they'll need to show some deference to our agents and ensure that any troop movements and trade efforts the Inquisition makes in the Dales are given the highest priority. All it took was a bit of negotiation and a few subtle threats. They sent along some lovely gifts to show their appreciation for their presence in Skyhold, and the consortium should ensure that any attempts we make to gather coin in the future are that much easier. Uh, I think the Orlesian nobles... The right word is more... at the right time is more effective than an afternoon of peasantries. Um, right, what's this thing? Oh, this is the the woman is. Um, uh, I think we'll leave that for the moment. Alliance with the Fairbanks. Oh, Josephine. No, Josephine. No, 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 no. I remember what Josephine wants, and I don't like it. Let's see if we can find something else for him for uh, her to do. Uh, I don't want to grab resources, the problem. Celebrate the dragon slaying. Let us set up the trophies you collect and put out the word we are celebrating the dragon slayer. Fascinating nobles would do anything for an invitation. Ward and Heron are troublesome, but wait to Wade and Heron, but wait to and dial the send whatever dragon we're using ourselves. Uh, oh, oh, phooey. That's annoying. Wade and Heron back from um, awakening and the occasional bit of origins. <sighs> hmm. Not really much I want to do with Josephine at the moment. I'm not sure what to do with the Lord Basile Marron. But I don't like the idea of just... No, I think we will send Josephine. Let us begin. We're going to keep that lady... Which does mean messing with him. Which maybe not may not may not be such a wise idea, but there we go. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do um, for the future. I may depending on if I remember, or I may just do it now, I don't know. Look at what happens with this with the with this uh, fire captured stuff. It might be like if I do all three it, it, it's the thing is I only need seventeen for this. So, if I only need the one room, I might go and grab these 17. 
if not, I might. It's like so if I if this if this one room if doing this one room will get me access to that whatever if I open up that big door in the middle, um, then I might just okay next session I'm going to run around grab 17 shards go back finish this room. If I need to go through all three, then I might go and do um, like I might go to the hissing wastes or the exalted plains. And then if I pick up, if I pick up a number of shards, if, then I will then go further on with it. But um, I think then they'll become, they'll come more of a, if I stumble across a shard, I'll pick it up. I've now got enough to do the next section of this. Oh, I'll go and do that. Um, rather than, I'm going to definitely work on getting these shards. Uh, I don't know. Uh I will have to think of it. Have, I might have a look at that and think about it and then make a decision. Um, oh my goodness, I'm doing homework for this game. It's frustrating, especially with the fact that it's like, I don't know what decisions and what quests are, are looked at in the keep. Um, so, if, a ga if, if the game was... If it was more obvious, like... I remember Mass Effect 3 um, had basic... Or was it, no, Mass Effect 2, sorry. I can't remember th much about 3 um, when it came to the quests. But I remember one thing in 2. And it basically had main quests, side quests. And the main quests were basically the main quest. But also the companion stuff. Um, and I think maybe a couple of other things as well. Whereas the side quests were the legitimate kind of... Here is a side quest. Here is just a random fetch quest to kind of pad out the game a little bit. Whereas in this game, which has so many, which seems to have so many quests, doesn't have any kind of indication of, look, here is the important quest. I don't know, like, if I look at the Hinterlands, I've got loads of that, loads of these here. How many of these are actually meaningful? How many of these are going to affect future games? How many of these are going to affect this game? How many of these quests are affecting the game by the fact I've not done them? And I think that's that that's that's there isn't any real obvious answer to that. It's not made obvious. Like this. I don't know what's gonna happen. Like if I finish this door, I assume it won't open the big door, will it? I don't know. It might do. There's no logic to how many rooms there are. There's no way of working it out. You'd think there'd be like that veilfire rune that I looked at would kind of give a hint as to what it is. I don't know. <sighs> I'm getting kind of frustrated with this. Um, I may think about it. I may just go to the main quest and just... I know it said final, but kind of... Ugh. These quests. Ugh. Ugh. On that happy note, I hope you come back next time. <laughs> uh Uh, my frustration with this game, admittedly, might be because I'm also playing The Witcher 3 at the moment, for those of you in the far future watching this back. Um, with that being more, at the moment, the kind of exciting opening bit, and I'm comparing this where I've kind of got into this... I'm doing a lot of side stuff, so it's a bit more of a dull trudge. Um, so it might just be that that's kind of getting me down on this game. I don't know. I'm still enjoying it, though, mostly. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.